to close the loop now on progesterone, progesterone intolerance. Could you help us understand why some women would experience that and um, how it sort of impacts their hormonal journey, I guess, if you will. Listen, there's, I don't know if we have a specific number. I'd say about 10%, I'm just guessing about 10% of women will just say, you know, I've heard all this wonderful stuff about progesterone. It's just not working for me. So back to what I said earlier, we've, you know, we've got a couple of ways to talk about it. The first thing I asked, it, was it just like mild kind of that intolerance in the beginning, a little GI upset or a little bloating? If it's mild, I say, listen, stick with it. You haven't seen hormones in a little bit. Maybe you've been menopausal. You might need to just adjust. So that's number one. Number two, if it really seems like, listen, as soon as I take this, I either have lots of GI stuff going on or it is making me way too sleepy, which we know it does, it can do that. And many women like that. Then the next thing we talk about is what I mentioned, either switching to just a different formulation using a synthetic progestin or working with your doctor and maybe using it vaginally or working with your in-person gynecologist and having them place a progestin IUD. Um, why does it happen to someone and others? I think this comes down to receptors. We don't actually know because nobody studies progesterone right. very right. much because it's there's no money to be made on bioidentical progesterone. The pharmaceutical companies, this is a generic medication, right? So there's not a lot of studies done, but um, it comes down to receptors, Rachel. Your receptor in your body, how it responds to progesterone or the receptor in, in your GI tract or in your brain is going to be different than someone else. And for some women, it just makes them feel too sleepy. And I want women to not be afraid of the synthetic progestins. They are safe options that have been used for decades with millions of women. And, you know, we always have to balance risks, benefits, what's going to work best for you. I know many a menopause specialist who is they're they are taking oral estrogen and oral synthetic progestin in the combination um generic activella that's one of the medications we have here they love it they've been on it for years and they will stay on it because it's a safe and effective option so women should not be afraid of using the non-bioidentical progesterone options